What is up, my YouTube world? I decided I needed to make a video really bad, but I can't show you guys my face or my neck because I got broken out from these band-aids. These band-aids literally um, gave me a rash on my neck. It's so horrible. Maybe I'll show you guys later. Anyways, no one wants to know about that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a video on, um, here it is, Lipus ultrasound, low intensity pulse ultrasound stimulation for bone fractures and healing. And I know my guy on Patreon, Johannes, um, he's been waiting for me to do a video about muscle stuff and it's just um, really going to take a lot of research to figure out what the heck, you know. So let's see what this um, website is just saying here about what happens and how it works. And I've definitely released quite a few videos about this, you guys, but I just felt like I had to look deeper into it and try to get more updated 2023 information. Okay, so low intensity pulsed ultrasound, Lipus, is a developing technology which has been proven to improve fracture healing process with minimal thermal effects. This non-invasive treatment accelerates bone formation through various molecular, biological, and biomechanical interactions with tissues and cells. Although lipus treatment has shown beneficial effects on different bone fractures locations, bone fracture locations, only very few studies have examined its effect on deeper bones. This study provides an overview on therapeutic ultrasound for fracture bone, bones, possible mechanisms of action, clinical evidence, current limitation, and its future prospects. Looks like this is from 2021. Okay, so what is this um, study here? Oh, there's some more here on the side too. Ooh. Here's another one where they should talk about the low intensity, the lipus, vertebral fracture healing. Okay, so it helps your back bone, fractured bone. Okay, and guys, oh, here we go. Here's some good stuff, guys. Ultrasound stimulation for the human body is safe and non-invasive. The therapeutic use of ultrasound started back in the 1930s. Initially, a frequency of 800 kilohertz and an intensity between 4,000 and 5,000 mWCM were used in the treatment of neuralgia, malalgia, and other diseases. Oh my god, what the heck? What is this? Hey Siri, does Siri work right now? Oh my God, no. Where's my phone guys, hold on. I don't know everything, but I'm willing to do the research guys. But anyways, let's go down here real quick. 5,000 to 25,000 um, necrosis, ceased bone healing and formation of fibrous tissue. What? Okay, what is this? Neuro. It sounds something like the brain, like neuro. N-E-U-R. Sorry, guys. It's still early. Neuro. I haven't had coffee yet. I'm about to hit that coffee. Null. Gia. Okay, okay. Got it. All right, guys. So, neuro pain caused by damaged or irritated nerves. Okay. So, lipus can also help with nerves. So let's think, in your tooth, definitely nerves. Um, we need to look at stem cells. We need to look at stem. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also, oh, conditions that are associated with nalgia include shingles, termogel nalgia, and diabetes. Wait a minute, guys, diabetes? Can we do something for diabetes with this lipus technology? Guys, this might be the way. Okay, so let's see here. Main seas, ultra limbs of rabbit. Dude, what's up with this rabbit, guys? They're doing a lot of stuff with rabbits. All right, what's myagia? Let's look up this other disease. So we're talking about nerves. Dude, we're learning stuff, guys. See what you learn on this channel? We learn it together, and I show you. I show you what I'm learning. So we're talking about muscle pain. Ooh. Okay, yes! 
This is it, my guy, Johannes from Patreon. It talks about back in the day, they used to use this for muscle pain. So they use it for nerves, muscles, and bones. Yes! See, guys, this is good stuff. All right, let's look down here. In 1983, Xavier and Duarte treated 27 non-union cases with lipus and generated successful treatment results. 20 minutes per day for 18 days, and they showed success rate of 70%. The efficacy of lipus in fracture repair process with 38% of acceleration rate in tibial fractures was further demonstrated by Heckman and colleagues in 1994. Okay, so they used an average intensity of 30 MWCM squared. Okay, so here's an actual device. Oh yeah, guys, I told you about this device, actually. I did tell you guys this Exogen. I have a whole video about this. I'll try to link it. And um, 2000... So we're, okay, it looks like they were doing <clears throat> 30 MWCM, 20 minutes a day. So guys, I think that if it can help stimulate bone growth, muscle, and nerve, I say why not tooth growth? And, you know, hopefully you guys have seen my video about the guy who grew rabbit teeth and he even grew human teeth with this technology. roll sorry guys about these um dogs barking in the background freaking annoying all right this is a whole study guys all right so i'm just glad that we figured out that lipus was originally used um in the 1930s for um conditions that have to do with muscles and nerves and bones Okay, so yay. Oh yeah, 1940s. Okay, oh yeah. Young bones in humans and dogs. Dude, this stuff's been around since the 1930s and the 1940s, guys. Like, we should be, we should already been using this technology for growing teeth a long time ago. So anyways, guys, um, thank you for checking out my channel. I was watching Survivor. Anyone to be watching Survivor? I mean, guys, forget, just don't forget that we have all these videos. Recent Grow New Teeth videos by Roxanne. There's all these playlists, guys. Um, where's my channel? Well, anyways, look, I have a crazy amount of videos. But guys, come, come to my channel, Roxanne TV. Maybe I can click it here. Your channel. Here we go. Roxanne TV, Journey to Mind, Body, Soul, Healing. All right, I appreciate all my people. I appreciate my Patreon people. And thank you guys so much. I'll be posting so much more. I'm back in the game. I was sick for two seconds, but I'm back. Okay, and I don't care about my skin and all that. I'm going to be making videos. I'm so excited. And just shout out again to Johannes and my Patreon people. And hopefully this video helped a little bit ask if, um, answer a few questions. I'll be making more videos. This is just one of many. Thank you, dudes. Love you.